know, the most of the time I get arrested. But we have, if we all don't start doing this, then, then we are going to, to slide deeper into fascism. And that is, you know, this is a scary thing for me. One day you're going to wake up and this is going to be some, this country, this world's going to be something that doesn't resemble the way it was the day before. And, and we just really have to stand up to the power and do it courageously. They were scary. Those cops in Pittsburgh were scary. But oh, what they, can, you know, what they can were they very do? scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got chased by one out. I mean, the guy grabbed me, said, get out of my face. I thought I was going to be arrested. I backed out of the perimeter. All of a sudden, this guy with a dog is reaching for his pepper spray and the plastic cuffs, and I'm just backing off. I don't want to be confronted by power-hungry police officers in Darth Vader masks. You know, I, I remember uh, before it really started to kick off, this one young girl, she was a college student. She was on her bike. She decided to put her bike down and sit here and she's like you know i go to school here i pay for this this is my park what are you doing here and you know the cops got really i mean i have the video they get they buff up their chest they all of a sudden they make a perimeter the one guy puts up his shield this is a young girl who weighs 120 pounds with a bicycle i'm sorry she's not a threat to national security she doesn't need to be bullied by somebody who who really shouldn't be given this type of power in the first place. Cindy, tell people how they can make a difference, how they can come out to D.C. and be part of this sustained protest. Well, I hope everybody goes to our website, peaceoftheaction.org, P-E-A-C-E of the action.org. I can be reached through that. We have a Peace of the Action website. We're also organizing for the C20 in Toronto in June. So we have a Resist um, Toronto C20 a Facebook page, if people want to start being involved with that. We already have our rooms reserved, and we're going to be in the convention center, in the hotel with the convention center, so we can uh, be closer to the the robber class, to, so they can hear our voices and not just the voices of the elite, um, power-hungry, violent, you know, world leaders. So um, there's just so many things going on this year. I've dubbed this year 2010. The year of resistance, and that's resistance to the robber class and their and their crime. You know, and I want to remind people that are going to go down there to bring their camcorders. And, and I mean, you're in D.C., you're in the belly of the beast. There are a lot of prominent people walking around. And if you see one of these people, one of these members, if you identify one of the members of the robber class, go ask them some tough questions. That's how we make a difference. One of the videos that you, the listeners out there, and you, the activists out there, can make and throw on YouTube can get thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, in some cases, millions of views and breakthroughs into the mainstream media. We're the ones that are informed. We're the ones that have identified the problem, identified the enemy. So it's time to take the fight to them. And in this info war, I really do believe the best weapon is a digital camcorder. Uh, you just can't go wrong with it. So if you're going to go down there, you're going to be a part of this sustained protest, please bring a, a camcorder and be willing to use it. You know, I know it's tough sometimes when you identify one of these monsters and you're you, all of a sudden your gut drops. You're like, do I go ask them a question what do i do what do i do you just got to get past that we all have that i remember you know the first time i was in a public speaking situation because of the films i'd made i was very nervous i'm sure that you were very nervous when you first came on the scene of the anti-war movement we have to get beyond that and get into action get into activism and i'm telling you in this info war there's nothing there's nothing that scares these people more than honest truthful information you can bring that to the masses with your digital camcorders. What's the website again to get involved, Cindy? It's peaceoftheaction.org, P-E-A-C-E of the, P -E -A -C -E of the action. And another thing, on Friday, this Friday, I'm going to be in Manhattan, and we are changed, and Luke Rukowski and Manny Badillo are organizing a fundraiser for Peace of the Action. So if anybody wants information on that, I believe it's up at the We Are Changed uh, website. So that's from 8 to 10 at the INN Studios at 56 Walker Street, a fundraiser for a piece of the action. So if anybody's in the New York City area, we invite them to come out and not you know, not just help us raise money, but to get a lot of a lot of information. Our our topic is the state of the US anti war movement. And the state of it right now is pretty pitiful, but unless the anti war right and the anti war left can work together without 
you know, these petty differences, arguing about, you know, uh, social structure and, and other things, then there, we actually have no chance. Well, I agree, and I think it's great that you're working with We Are Change and Luke and Manny, two great individuals that really, I mean, Luke took an organization that didn't exist, and now it's internationally known. It's making a headway all over the news from ABC to CBS to even Fox News, and it even got some positive coverage during the Climate Gate scandal. So we can break through, we can become effective, and we can come together. I think it's great that you're going to be in Manhattan. Uh, let's take a few calls before... Before the end of the hour and the end of the program for Cindy Sheehan, let's go to Nick in North Carolina. Nick, you're on the line. Hey, yes, uh, how you doing, Jason? Good. Uh, Cindy, I just, uh, I'm really, really glad I got a chance to uh, say thanks to Cindy Sheehan. Um, for many years, I've been watching all her activism. <laughs> I just saw a video of her uh, going to Dick Cheney's house and whatnot. And uh, she's got a lot of courage, and she stands up to a lot of evil demons uh, you know the 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 Donald Rumsfelds and all the uh, military industrial complex. You know, uh, but it's the corporations and and the robber barons we got to stand up against. So thank you, Cindy. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank, thank you, Nick. You, Nick. And, you know, one of my favorite Cindy Sheehan's photographs is the one with her bullhorning the guy right next to him. You can see that on her Facebook page. We'll be back after this final segment of the Info Warrior. segment of the info war you missed any of the program you go pick up the podcast over at the infowarrior.com following the program or please become a prisonplanet.tv subscriber only 5.95 a month you can see this streaming video the full three hours every week you can get the the archives you get the alex jones show you get all of my films you get all of alex films and so much more. It's literally the price of an extra value meal that you gorge yourself at McDonald's for of one time for an entire month. It is the deal of the century and it really helps support us here. And I want to thank Cindy Sheehan for being on air with us. I think what she's done over the past five, six, seven years is unbelievable. I mean, this woman has really been the advocate we've been looking for, somebody who is not going to stop when Obama comes into office or the next president comes into office and we're still in the Middle East. Uh, let's take some final calls for her. Let's go to Dave in Illinois. Dave, you're on the line. Yes, sir. We got Dave? Or don't we have Dave? Are we dropping him? Let's go to John in Florida. John, you're on the line. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jason. Uh, yes, Cindy, sir. Nice to talk to you guys. Um, I want to first um, say thank you to Cindy and everything that she's doing. You too, Jason. You guys are watchmen on the walls. And uh, we, I, I don't really, um, I don't think people understand uh, what's at stake here. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the, the fact that, uh, yes, we're, we're trying to fight the government. Um, but there's a bigger agenda at stake here. The, 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 the bigger agenda uh, that most people don't talk about on your on your station. These people look at the Georgia Guidestones. Look at look at everything that they're doing uh, mm -hmm. with the vaccinations and stuff. It's all about um, depopulating the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know what, John? So, in my next film, Invisible Empire, I do have a, su a subsection in the film uh, that goes from the global warming into uh, a subsection of kind of this eugenics agenda. And when I see people like Ted Turner uh, being confronted by We Are Change this year saying that, oh, I don't think a population of 250 to 300 million, that's not me anymore. I think the United Nations is right. It needs to be two or three billion. Well, if it's two or three billion, that means that... 50 to 70 percent of us have to die, and I can assure you that it will not be Ted Turner and his cronies, people like David Rockefeller, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, even Oprah Winfrey and Michael Bloomberg, where they're meeting in New York City in secret to discuss overpopulation. That's a headline out of The Telegraph, and you can check that out in my next film, Invisible Empire. I thank you for the call, John. Uh, you know, there's just so many things out there that we have to deal with. We can only focus on so much. But, Cindy, while we were down, and uh, get that off the air, guys. You guys are killing me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, when when we were in uh, 
Pittsburgh, I remember interviewing you and you saying to me, you know, these people meeting behind closed doors in secret at this G20, they are trying to create a new world order. Cindy, wrap up with that. Well, what do you think this new world order they're trying to create looks like? Well, I think that they announced it. Uh, funny, right, uh, mm -hmm. Jason? Yeah. They said that um, they have become the the new global economic um, leader, that, mm -hmm. and they declared it themselves. That and that this is what the this new world order is: it's the global robber class, the global robber class working together in um, partnership to take more of our resources, to take more of our wealth, to take more of our children. Um, you know, the, the man who said it's about depopulation, what is war? War is about depopulation. War is about ruining the environment. War is about sucking our resources dry, um, money, and, and everything. So we, if they can work together, we have to work together, too.